This has been brought to you by Coach K Exclusive. I swear your friends got to my say so. Seems like everything that they say goes straight to your head. But you never think about what they done said or what it's even about. You just draw to conclusions. Why they paint the illusion? Now you're stuck in confusion when you just could have came to me. And we could have talked about it Talk for hours just making up and 216 in Park, Cleveland's underground music video countdown show, live Oh lord, who else doing it like me? 216 in Park is shooting movies every week, I'm like, oh lord Couch off the road, 216 in Park, red, take five right now, doing what we do best I have Sean Storm and Ron Day, the Prophecy here, a couple of dope artists Two of them from Cat and one from Cleveland, you know, it's going down Why don't you guys tell them a little bit about yourself, starting out with Sean? My name is Sean Cartel, Geeker Records, baby. We doing that, we doing that mixtape, we coming at you live. It's gonna be the Rock the Mic 4. Hello, my name Young Storm the Future, YSTF. People call me Young Storm. You can follow me on Instagram at why not underscore YSTF. Facebook, Storm AP Sanders. Twitter, Storm Shoot First. And I'm repping Geeker Records. Huh. Yes, my name is Rondé Tramiel, known as Rondé the Prophecy from Bridge City Kings Entertainment, representing 216. Year of the future, look out for the CD. It's coming soon. Yes, yes. So, I'm going to start with Sean. Um, do you have anything coming up for the 2015 that you want to tell them? You know, not too much, a little exclusive, something, let them know. I got a CD called The Love Life Collage. It's going to be featuring my cousin Storm on it. We're doing a lot of things. Sean, the real Sean Cartel at IG. Or just Google Sean Cartel, you find us, man. I'm, I'm working on that right now. You know, I got a band. We about to do some stuff for the live band and everything. Get at y'all, man. We, it's, it's something different than what you used to. And I'm working on uh, a new project, uh, my new album, Deader in Jail. And um, I got a mixtape out right now on Dap Piff and um, live mixtapes, Pig Watch, uh, Trap Bros with me and my young bro, Trump. Shout out to him. Um, if you need any kind of information, holler at my uh, manager, Gary Lennon, on Facebook. And, um, you know, we're going to keep going, keep working. Yes. Yes, well, I'm also working on the R&B CD and a rap CD. I'm also working on the GMB CD with my brothers and them. So we got a lot of music that we're trying to give back to the community. Let them know we still love you. Look out for us. Yes, yes, we got a cat turn up. Leave on the board. <laughs> Seven is the letters. I just need to know if we on the same level. I'm digging this girl, no shovel. She piping, steaming hot tea kettle. Yeah, baby girl, stack right. I wanna see what that dip in her bag like. We're gonna do something a little slow. Cause normally I go ahead. We're gonna do something for the ladies though. See you my inspiration. Let me get my motivation. I switch up my occupation. Girl, with you, I will be patient. There's never hesitation. We're talking about us. Discussing all this love, mutual feelings, and trust. And I'm a protege. But my astrologer told me that if I holler that you would acknowledge me. And this is how we met. Who knew what we could be? Exotic fantasies turned into realities. And now you with me, you latent in this history. And this is perfect timing. 
it's motivational. Uplift me like Barack did for my people, yo. Never let boy get down, keep him on the low. And this is inspiration, better get some motivation for people who contemplating on people you always hating. And believe it or not, you be my inspiration. I could update you like my phone. I'm just contemplating. So believe it or not, baby, you're my inspiration. I could have any girl, but you the one I'm chasing. Uh 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 uh. I need you in my life. Geek of Records got you open. Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give y'all something, we'll talk to you, mommy. Let's just chat for a minute. I see you finding all in the room full with g 2 b in them. First off, let's take it slow. First off, let me ask for the name. What kind of catcher like are you in the plan in the games? My name is Rondé, but the prophecy what people call me. Look, here's my number. Anytime, baby girl, you can call me. But if you don't call me, girl, I won't be so damn sorry. Cause it ain't no guarantee that your sexy self is gonna call me. I'm doing my thug fizzle. Oh, you ain't know I'm a rapper. I mess with OG, brother, shout out to the trappers But back to you, my little lady, with your sexy self Your chocolate complexion is not your butt just caught me by surprise Damn, got them cute ass lips, can I see how they taste? Once you kiss me, your love stuck, how the prophecy tastes I know you want me, I can see it in your eyes, they so bright But tonight ain't got it in, won't you come stay tonight? Come chill with me, come stay tonight Yeah we live at Take 5. Take Stay five. tuned. 216. In part. I'm sitting in the room, filled with a couple docks, laying on the bed. Gave your boy a couple shots. I'm thinking this the day that young fame came alive. Threw me in my mother arms, took me in my baby eyes. Seen my daddy too, but I ain't seen him in a while. And I bet you when I'm mad, man, that we to make me smile. December. Yeah. Tristan on the track. Yeah. We got it right here down here at 206 in Park. This is the Take 5 episode. Y'all keep it locked. That's why it's over. Yeah. Make sure you guys go check out our YouTube page at 216 in Park. Make sure you guys go check out 216 in Park on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We out here. We are Cleveland. Let's go. Different than what you had before, question boy Tell me what you really gonna amount to Your soul is lost, now angels couldn't find you Back to earth, the facts get worse The cask is burst, I'm blasting first You scratch the verse, the cold, the cold That nobody knows, I'm cold, I'm froze Got ten toes, that I'm on your bro I sing my song, she said, oh God, my name good Good guy, his thing Two, one, six, apart. We're sitting down here at Take 5 And I'm sitting with David Ford Also the founder of this basketball company Also David Ford Also tell us a little bit about that David Ford Collection just started out February on Valentine's Day. New line, Urban Luxury uh, is coming to you know to the city, to the Midwest. Uh, it's been big with the overseas already, so now we're bringing it home. Absolutely. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the frames. You know how long you been? How long you been doing the frame lines? For a year. For a year, Don. For a year. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? We got some examples. I like the ones you got. I know I like the clear frames. I'm not too much of a sun glass right. screener, but I like the, the not clear frames. So, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> yes. So I see you have brought some of your collection Absolutely. items here. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know? Well, let's go to the ladies' line. Uh, ladies' line. These are brand spanking new. These are the Milan. And these are handcrafted. These are on the website. Can I Primo? Those are dope. Which are really dope. Uh, killing these over in Italy. The Butterfly. Atlanta, Georgia. Eating them up. Um, men's Line. The Italiano. Those are really fashion color frames. And those are doing really well right now. I'm going to try those on. Please, Please do. Try those on. Yeah, Please. Try them on. I like that. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn you into sunglasses. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It won't be a show without smiles getting frames on. You know what I'm saying? Let me try the frames out. Yeah, it is. Cool. Yeah. I like the frames. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to take a selfie in them though, but I like these frames. And they I feel like I'm driving in a, a Cadillac or there something you like that. You see, clean with it though. So you gotta, what you gotta, drove you to create this collection? You know what? I'm an eyeglass wearer. So you know, just having something more fashion for. You know, I'm tired of seeing the old same Prada, the Gucci. I 
I love Prada Gucci, but it's time for us to have our own brand. Exactly. It's black people. That's, I can understand that. Well, I'm not, I know I know. not only do the, 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 the sunglass line, but you are an artist, you do music too, you are a musician as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, elaborate more about that, you know what I'm um, saying? Like, any upcoming music or shows or anything? I'm behind the scenes now. So, I with yep, okay. I, I got more into fashion, so you know I do. You know I still work with artists, but on like the more business level. You know, but I used to produce. I owned a 3D recording studio, which was the largest in Cleveland. Yes. And, you know, um, you know, so I love my city, so I give back to it. Definitely. So you definitely wear a number of hats. So how can anybody get in contact with you? What's your, you know, media okay. info? Uh, website, www.davidfordcollections.com. They can reach me on all social media, David Ford Collections. Definitely. David Ford, 216 of Park. We're definitely going to take five, so make sure you guys stay tuned for more. To the strip, cause my stripper was better. Got a lot of ice on, I like changing the weather. Backseat with a foreign in a foreign whip. I got hood that no real summer. I just watched it, uh. <laughs> yeah, mother's got an axe for a pass in my city. Cause they think they coming first, but they really coming last in the city. A real bad boy, ass traffic and a I brought money to the strip, cause my stripper was better. I got money, she got money. 9, 7, 93rd, around the corner from my Send back boys the culture down 93. Just my independence, don't say a word. It's worth to be done, I finesse it by hand. Start with a quake, but I am with a grand, but it's all gonna be cool, cause I scooped the treatment. This is just a cool day when we roll through the land. Yo, 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 we rockin' right here at Take 5. I am the homie Twanzo, 216 Apart, my co-host Vanity Star. We still down here rockin' out at Take 5, man. I done had a great day, you know what I'm saying? But, but to close it out, I got a special, a special, special person. All the way from Germany. All the way from Germany. In Cleveland. In Cleveland, Ohio, right now, promoting to her music. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the, to the Cleveland fans and to all of them. everybody, my name is Shakeenan, a.k.a. Lakeisha Robinson, and I'm definitely enjoying Cleveland, and I'm enjoying this interview we're about to have. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a chance to, to make it down to the Cavs games yesterday? No, I didn't. Actually, this is her first day in Cleveland. Yeah, she I got here late yes. last night. She got here late last night. We played the Boston Celtics yesterday. She didn't get to see, the, see LeBron uh, go ahead and do her thing. That's my boy, though. <laughs> but she did give us some good reviews. She said Cleveland was beautiful, so yeah. right now it's time to yes. definitely someone take a look at that. We are yes, Cleveland. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. So let's jump, let's jump into, uh, I'm trying to get in your business real quick. So uh, I'm going to be a stalker for a minute, me and my, my homegirl. Um, Stalk away. That's what we do. Um, on the music side, uh, what kind of music do you do? Uh, R&B, hip-hop? I do rock, pop, soul. Yeah. Rock, pop, soul. Yeah. Yeah. Music, soul. So it's very important to jam. You want to feel good. You want to change history or change the world. Then it's a lot of music. How long have you been doing music? Uh, well, I did artist development in Atlanta, Georgia uh, for about nine years. And uh, now I am pushing out my mixtape. I have over 600,000 views right now. I have a single called I Can Make You Dance. And I'm not right now. I'm up here with uh, Kawan and Don Productions. Uh, he's giving me my opportunity to uh, expand, my, to expand myself up here. And uh, you know, I've got a lot of great stuff coming up right now. You can catch me on uh, SoundCloud. Uh, you can also catch me on Reverb Nation um, under my AKA name, uh, Lakeisha <laughs> Robinson, because I'm doing like the mixtape type of stuff. But okay, okay. once single comes out, uh, I'm looking for Shakim. And uh, you know, so I got like my little underground thing. And, Bringing me to the masses when I come out professionally. I'm on my grind and I ain't falling off. Falling off. Falling off. Yeah. I pay the cost just to be the boss. I'm on my grind and I ain't falling off. I falling off. It pay the cost just to be the boss. Be the boss. Uh, my jewelry desk, can't you tell it's flossing? Uh, I'm on my grind and you can tell I'm bossy. I'm stack my money up to the highest height. Okay, now normally we all do this, but since she's all the way from Germany and she loves Cleveland, why don't you go ahead and spit something for me? Oh, I ain't right. mean to put you on the spot, but right. a little something, something, a little something, something. Right. 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 Right
Touchdown about a week ago. I came back down south, could have switched the flow. I got a up no sky with a down south show. Better summon now, cause I'm about to blow. I got a body, but it holds me down. Got a they lock the stuff down. So all I gotta do is just bless the crowd. Make the ends come in. How you like me now? I'm not here trying to keep flows, but I got hot limits that are touch the soul. Come out through your heart, make your mind explode. Come on now, you know it's better than gold. I'm maintaining no more rain. Shout out to the one that taught me to get me out. Yo, I'm professional. Here's a middle finger for the rest of them. Uh uh. I'ma bang you, bang you. You better step back for a snap your chain off. Stay back so I can knock the rain off. This is wearing me out. Yeah. I was about to say, don't give him too much. Don't give him too don't much off the album. Don't give him too much off yes. the album. That was crazy, though. I love the tune. It's different. It's different. different yeah. So, uh, y'all got the exclusive first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the exclusive first yeah. right here on 216 in Park. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you shout out and follow her on Twitter and Instagram, man. Yeah. 216 Follow me under Lakeisha Robinson under Twitter, under um, Instagram. Also, you can find me on Reverb Nation, Lakeisha Robinson. I love it. Check me out on SoundCloud. I'm coming to you. I hope y'all ready. Um, so take over. That's so take yeah. Over. Make sure you guys can't forget my home. Where you gotta shout out his social media and everything like you know. Stay wine and dime, man. Promotions, you know, going big, epic move. Every time you see me, it's always awesome, always brilliant, always a good appearance. Y'all follow me on Facebook, Dorian Clark. That's D O R I E N C L E R K. Last name. Instagram, K Wine and Dine, that's K W U N D T H E D O N Dine. Everything one word. Much love. Yes, definitely. Couch off the road, 216 and Park. We get the exclusives. You want to go to see it right here. Make sure you guys go on YouTube. Check out 216 and Park and everything. Let them know. Y'all already know, man. 206 in Park. Make sure y'all get on that YouTube. Get them views up, man. It's going to be a crazy summer for us, man. We out of here. We are Cleveland. Yes, All day. Say she forgiving me Hold up my trip and she really just getting rid of me Times may change and women be acting different But I don't pay attention I just speak my tongue and award her for her nominations But never tell her she won Never was the type of love Never gave a woman care Always did them wrong and told them what they want to hear Please excuse my truth, baby, just be playing what I know Never gave a Couch off the road to my six-month park here You know I'm sitting with my home girl Jenny Cool Twine so you know, she burns enough for her head, she's super dope. So I'm gonna let her explain what she does to the fans who wants to the park. Well, I'm Kevin E, aka Kevin. I'm from Cleveland, born and raised, and currently I am assisting with marketing for the foster and adoption population. Um, being in foster care myself, but more importantly, you know, just trying to help those nonprofits find funding and um, finding children's homes. I'm also working on Pop Radio, Get It Pop Radio, I'm sorry. Um, this is like my third week working on internet radio, marketing, sales. I mean, mama, I don't know where else to go. You got a, a number of jobs and everything that you yeah, You said like in Jamaica. <laughs> well, well, we have another guest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's no, it's no, uh, what am I trying to say? It's no surprise. We have Jenny Poo. Jenny Poo, excuse me, Jenny Poo. What's going on, baby? It's been a, it's a long time since I've seen Jenny Poo, since we've been together. So we go way back. But um, just kind of give the people a kind of brief look at well, I'm Jenny Poole. I run a blog called Park Blood ENT. Um, it features pretty much uh, local artists. I do feature, you know, some big names. If you're doing fashion, art, music, anything that you feel is worth sharing with the world, I can get it out there for you. I am also co host on Girl Car Radio over at Get It Poppin', which uh, won 2014 Best in Memory Show Show. So shout out to us. <laughs> um, Girl Power Radio is also nominated for the Red Carpet Awards, so shout out to us. Okay. Um, and, yeah, so, uh, yes. I'm glad to see that Twanzo has a beautiful lady vanity by his side. So, 
sexy. I agree too. Chemistry is crazy right now. You see, you see, it's going crazy. But um, before we go, uh, before we go, man, make sure y'all shout y'all Instagram and Twitter before we you know so they can follow y'all. Okay. Beautiful ladies. Kevin, you're so great. Okay. Kevin knows the number two. So K E V I K E N O W S number two. All right, you can stalk me on Instagram at sparkplugnt and uh, my blog is sparkplugnt.blogspot.com. So just follow me on Instagram. You can DM me anything you want me to post. I will get it done for you. Definitely. And of course, you can reach us at 216 and Park on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you guys go to YouTube and search 216 and Park. As you can see, we have Dope Chemistry. We're at Take 5 with Tony Gaskins. It's dead and it's going down. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Let's go. Yeah, so I see I'm just going to give you the name Peace, <laughs> cop a quarter, maybe half, or a sip on Z. Can't sleep, so the doctor make me sip codeine. I'll be leaning if you need it. Yo, welcome back to 216 in Park. And we are finally caught up with the man of the hour, Tony Gaskin. Um, I'm excited, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I got the call, before we start off, before I, when I got the call and uh, Big Hef let me know that you're gonna be in the city and I immediately jumped on for media. Um, and I actually called Vanity and, and told her about the uh, about the idea and everything about coming up, with you coming to the city. So I'm excited about you being here. Um, I watched numerous videos on YouTube that you have. Um, so inspiring. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot, it's a million questions that I want to ask you, but I'm gonna stick to my script. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to the script. So, um, well, first of all, my question is, um, you were on the Tyra Banks and the Oprah Winfrey show. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to meet Tyra, you know right. what I'm saying? Tyra Banks, shout out Tyra Banks, you know, you know right. model. But uh, um, how was that experience, just getting to meet them, actually talking back stage with them, getting to know them, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So, uh, you don't get to get that close to them, you know? You talk mm -hmm. to them, hey, how you doing? But um, to be honest with you, I know God. So meeting them, it really wasn't, it didn't do much for me, you know. And I don't mean no disrespect to them, but you know, it's when you start to kind of work for the Lord and talk to them that closely, you, you don't really look at humans the same anymore. And so I kind of was looking at them almost just kind of you know, it was like a, a pathway. Oprah, she wasn't what I was expecting. You know, I expected her to be very, um, you know, condescending or something, but Oprah was really sweet. You know, she was like, you know, it, it, you know, like an insecure uh, middle school girl. Mm -hmm. That's how her spirit is, like that humble when she doesn't have to be, you know. And now Tyra was like the opposite, you know, very, you know, kind of bold and strong, you know, personality, strong presence. But, um, you know, I just, hey, how you doing? And I did the interview and uh, that was it. Oprah let me stay on a lot longer than Tyra too. You know, they, the producer came to move me after five minutes when I was on Oprah. And Oprah said, no, leave, leave him here. And my five minutes turned into 55 minutes. And uh, so, you know, it, it was a blessing. It was a blessing, but I know it was, it was orchestrated, you know. Now you said that it didn't do anything for you, but I, I, I as know far as meeting them, like I didn't feel, I, say, I didn't feel inspired. No, okay, I, okay, I didn't okay, feel, okay. I didn't feel inspired because it's it, when you really get in there, you understand, you see the business side of it. You know, it's not a lot of heart in it. You know, and it, it's really they reading off a card. You know, and somebody else wrote it. It's, it's not really. I'm more inspired sitting talking to you and her than I would be you know, on mainstream television because it, they become. It's up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting love in my city, boy. But I'm on a flight to the A town. With a young thing, 23. And she gonna ride it like a great how? Yeah, I'm in the. I wanna take it a little back when you were younger. So you grew up um, as the pastor's son. Right. So by you growing up as a pastor's son, can you kind of tell people how that was for you growing up as a pastor's son in Florida? Um, it was, I was very close 
to the Lord. You know, I had to, instead of reading school books for homework, my homework was reading a chapter from the Bible. You know, I used to have to read a chapter from the Bible every day and write a summary. And so it really got that word in me, you know, that wisdom, you know, and that level of thinking at a young age. And so, it, to be honest with you, it shaped me. You know, it shaped me, and that's the wisdom that I draw from now. Okay, well, growing up, you said you were close to God, but I heard in a radio interview that at the age of 10, that you were fighting the good and bad forces. So what led you to that? Because you kind of went to a different time before you got back on the right path. So what got you to that point that you were screaming out to God, fighting the good and bad forces? Right. Uh, what I meant is at the age of 10, I started crying out to God. But it was by 15 when I started becoming under attack, so to speak, uh, by the adversary. When I lost my virginity, I went to jail at 15 for stealing. And so it was kind of like, you know, when you're trying to do good, mm -hmm. the negative will come tempt you. And when you're doing everything negative, it's like it's all hands off of you until you self-destruct, you know. And so because of the gift that was in me, uh, my adversary was trying to steal that. And so I, I was lost from 15 to about 23, you know, selling drugs, womanizing, just completely, you know, searching, trying to find myself, and I had to find my way back home. Right. And of course, God was always in you, but um, I wanted to ask, is your outlook of how you looked at things back then, you said that the only thing for black men were sports. Um, being overworked, overworked and being underpaid, underpaid mm -hmm. and um, drug dealing. Drug dealing. Yeah. So do you still have that same outlook? Now that you found yourself and you're more established and you know where you're going and you know where you're at, do you still have that same outlook? Uh, not me personally, mm -hmm. but I still feel like that's what the youth think. You know, until, until they see people like me, you know, doing what I'm doing as a speaker and a life coach, until they see me on television and they see me sign an endorsement deal with Nike or a spoken word deal with Def Jam, they're still going to think I'm either gonna be in the streets being tough or I'm gonna play ball like LeBron or I'm just gonna try to get through high school, graduate, maybe go to college and then end up working on somebody's job. You know, we, we really, we aren't raised to be successful entrepreneurs you know, certain households, but not as a whole, you know, as a majority. So, you know, me being a successful entrepreneur, owning companies, writing my own checks, it was the craziest thing when I wrote myself a check from my company and I had to sign the front of it. And I signed the front of it and then I realized to put it in the bank, I had to sign the back of it. So I'm like, whoa, this is what they mean. I signed my own check <laughs> because my name was on the front and the back. And I'm like, wow, that was, you know, it was crazy. But you aren't taught that as a child, that you could be signing your own checks. And I, I had got to the point that I literally was from one of my companies writing myself a salary check for ten thousand dollars for that week. And because the lady at the bank told me we need to see salary checks going into your personal account, you know, for when you get ready to buy a house. And so I started writing myself salary, $10,000 a week, and I'm signing the front, signing the back. And I'm like, wow, nobody told me I would be doing this or that I could do this when I was in elementary, middle school, high school, yes. not even in college. Well, I kind of, uh, this is not only for me, of course, for myself, for anybody else that was known, what's kind of the difference between a motivational speaker and a life coach? Because I was kind of thinking that a coach is, that's always there with you, coaching, like a basketball player, um, coaching you, and a motivational speaker just comes in, they, they motivate you for that time, they give you words to, to carry on, but a coach stays with you, like, well, be respectful. I'm going to keep telling you to be respectful every day, you know what I'm saying? So right. is it like the same as a motivational speaker and being a life coach? You got it right. You're a motivational speaker, you speak, you know, for an hour and then you go on about your business. You may never talk to the people again unless you are a life coach. And as a life coach, my clients, they can text me, you know, every day or we try to have an hour conversation a week. And so a life coach, it is, I'm calling plays for life. You know, I'm talking to them and 
we're talking about what they're facing, and I'm just giving them sound feedback, you know, sound wisdom and advice. Encouragement, right? Yeah, and so it, it is two totally different things. And motivational speaking, it can be learned. You know. So you know, some people have seen me on K. Michelle's show uh, on VH1 coaching her. Seen me on the game and Tiffany's show coaching Tiffany. About to be on Evelyn Lazada's show with Own, you know, talking about exclusive. Her. These are exclusive, exclusive, <laughs> exclusive, y'all. <laughs> this is a part, y'all. This is yeah, exclusive. That's all he And you know, they, those people in that space, mm -hmm. this space, just infiltrate the system. Well, that y'all heard it first, an exclusive interview with my man Tony Gasket right yes. here on 216 Park at Take 5. Um, make sure, before we go, uh, any websites, your Instagram or Twitter, they can follow you on? Tony Gaskins, across the board. Everything, social media, just my name, Tony Gaskins. Twitter, YouTube, everything. Y'all heard it first, man. Everything, man. Make sure y'all use them useful tips my man gave you. I appreciate you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm saying most definitely, y'all got to stay tuned. We got more to go, 216 Park. Man in the streets that you wanna be. Yeah. I'm getting to the money, bet y'all don't. Y'all wait in line for your J's. I don't. I got J's on my feet, you ain't seen yet. With the J's, I keep the plugs like the outlet. And